Today's video is going to be a Skims review. Basically, I spent almost $500 at Skims. This is what it looks like. Can you actually swim in it? I could be doing this all wrong. First things first, the color, amazing. It is so soft, like this is like buttery soft. I'm in love. It is the softest thing I've ever felt. I feel like a giant teddy bear, I love it. And I am like so impressed with this. freaking pumped for today's video like I can't even explain today's video is going to be a skims review basically I spent almost $500 at skims and I bought a whole bunch of stuff and I got this really cute bag with it actually it looks like a whole bunch of naked women but it's really cool <laughs> anyway I'm just really pumped because I wanted to buy skims for a really long time but I just couldn't like pull the trigger on it because I'm like oh like it's just like it doesn't seem like a lot of clothing for the money but like some people really hype it up and some people like don't like it so like I've always been very skeptical about buying it but I do I do love the Kardashians and I would like to support. So Kim, if you're watching this, hi, I love you. You're doing great things. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys everything I bought. I bought, how many items did I buy? I bought six items and I'm basically gonna go through, show you guys what I bought. And a lot of them are like, they're really popular items. And then one of them I'm so, so excited for. Like, I just can't wait to try it on. And I really hope everything fits really good. I wasn't sure because sometimes um, they were sold out of like my size. So I went up or down a size, depending on if I thought it would fit me. So hopefully this works. I'm really excited and I'm really nervous. So with all that being said, let's start with the first item. So the first thing I'm gonna try is this. And this is the swim cycle suit in gunmetal. So this is what it looks like. It's basic, wait, can you actually swim in it? Is this like one of the swim? Swim cycle suit. I don't know if you're supposed to swim in this. I don't know. That would make sense. It kind of does look like a bathing suit material. I could be doing this all wrong. But basically, it's this like biker bodysuit. It's like a swim gunmetal suit. And I got this in extra small, so hopefully it fits me just because I feel like I, know I can wear extra small, but I'm also normally order small. But the only thing I'm a little scared of is I'm pretty tall, and sometimes with bodysuits, they like go up like down there and it makes like a camel toe and it's like not the cutest thing. So hopefully this doesn't do this. Ooh, I love how, the, okay. One thing I really do love is how the bottom, there's no seam, it's like seamless and it just cuts off. That for one is really comfortable. I already know that will be. The seams up here are a little thick. I'd say it's comfortable. It's not like the most comfortable thing, but it's not uncomfortable. And maybe it's supposed to be this material to help shape your body, you know? Let's try this bad boy on. Okay, I think I really like it. Like, okay, so it's like a a tight material and it's comfortable but it's like this material makes it feel like it's like kind of like sucking in right here do I look like Kim K? No, I'm just kidding. So my only complaint I have, and that's honestly maybe because I ordered the wrong size. So I ordered an extra small and I would normally wear small. Is it pulling on me really tight here and it's pulling up here, but I'm also really tall for a girl. So I feel like if I wasn't as tall, it wouldn't do that. So I think a small would have been better for me just because I don't know if that makes that look weird, like if it's pulling up, but it kind of still looks good. Even though it's like pulling here, it's like lower cut and it kind of like pushes like here together. So basically I put these little like pad inserts like this in it, just to, you know, that way like my neck doesn't show, but some people like that. But it looks so like nice, like the material just looks like, I don't know. I feel like the longer I wear it, the more I like it. I mean, this one was very expensive. It was $108, but it is really, really cute. And I love the back of it. I think the back is so pretty, like the razor back. And now I'm like really curious, like do you swim in this or is it? I don't think you do. I think it's more like a style. Like you could style this super, super cute. I like this. I don't know. I honestly might have to give this one like a nine. Like this is really, really cute. Look at that. I like keep going like this because I feel like it's like shaping my body. Like it actually is. Even though this isn't, I don't think this is part of their shape work. It's also super flattering on the butt. And I think this, the seamless edges right here are really nice on the legs because sometimes when there is a seam here, it can like squeeze your thigh and make it look like puffier here. So it makes your thigh look bigger. So I think this is a really, really good job. I'm gonna have to give this one a nine. I really like it. The only thing is it kind of pulls here. So it's a little uncomfortable for me, but that's also because I'm like five, eight and a half almost five nine, so I'm pretty tall for a girl. So I feel like this is a really good buy. Okay, but this could just be styled like so cute. I love it, I'm into it. Or like with a blazer, I love it. I feel like an oversized blazer would probably look better, but like, ooh. 
This is a cute outfit. I like it. All right, guys, one last thing. I just feel like this is so flattering, like the cut of it. And it like pushes up. Like I don't even have boobs, but it's kind of like, it's doing a little something down here and I'm kind of liking it. But anyway, this one definitely is a nine out of 10. It is a little pricier, 108, but like, I feel like it's not that bad because it's like a full outfit. So I think that's really good. I'd say I, I definitely like this one. I'm happy with how it turned out. And okay, wait, I'm going to look up if you can actually swim in it because that's what I want to know. Okay, so it turns out it is a bathing suit. So it's like a sporty bathing suit. So you could like do like sports and then um, be out in the sun. I personally wouldn't wear it as a bathing suit just because I wouldn't like the tan lines. Like I like to wear bikinis more so. And then like I'd have like longer tan lines here, but it is definitely like if you want a more coverage bathing suit, this would be a great one. Cause it's like super flattering, super nice. That makes sense why it's not as soft because it's more like swimsuit material. It's not not soft. It's just like not super, super soft, but I really, really like this one. But if I wear it more, it's like a bodysuit. Okay. The next thing that I got is the fits everybody um, a bandeau bra. So we're going to see if it really fits everybody. And I got it in the color neon orchid. They just came out with like a neon collection, maybe a couple weeks ago. And I thought it was so stinking cute. So I had to get this first things first, the color amazing. It is so soft. Like this is like buttery, buttery soft. And I'm really excited to see how this one looks on me. And this one really wasn't too expensive. It was like $28, which isn't that bad. And I just got to say the seams are really nice. It's really soft. I really, okay. This is like minor details, but I love how the skims like tag is like raise and just looks really nice so they did a good job on that so i'm gonna try this one on and we're gonna see if this is worth the 28 dollars and how it fits you guys i'm obsessed look at this it is so stinking cute in the color what oh my god i love this i feel like i compare this with so much stuff and i just it's super flattering here it's super soft i really like this one the only thing i'm super super sad about and i'm so sad is it came with a stain on it and it's not that bad so i'm kind of like do i return it and get like a new one or do i just keep it with the stain because it's so minor i don't know what it is it almost looks like like a oil stain or something i don't even know if you can see it on camera right there it's so minor but i'm like sad because i bought it and I'm like, I don't want to have a stain in it, but it's really not that bad. I don't know. I'll have to see if like Josh can notice it. If he can notice it, then I'll send it back and get a new one. But if not, I'm just going to keep this one. But it is so stinking cute and so flattering. I love the color. I love that skin. I like did like a whole neon collection because I'm all about the neutrals, but I also love a good color moment, you know? Ooh, I like this one. I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. I really like it. Like there's literally nothing wrong with it. Super flattering up here. Super comfy. The color the cut, the material. I love this one. Okay, this one's a 10. You guys, the next one I think I'm most excited to try on. This is what I was like most excited of the whole, like everything, my whole order. I was so excited about this. It's called the Velour Wide Leg Pant and then the Velour Hoodie. And I got it in the color Sienna. And I got a size small for the bottoms and size medium for the hoodie because that's all they had for the hoodie. And I can go between small and medium. So I was like, oh, the medium should work. And then I got a small in the pants. So I thought this would be the cutest like airport fit just because like, it, I don't know, it just looks like a full like outfit fit together cute little lounge set and everyone knows skims is known for like the really comfy lounge set so i'm really really excited to try this one on and i hope it doesn't disappoint because i'm so excited for it okay so first thing feeling this hoodie i'm in love like what it is the softest thing i've ever felt ever and it's the same material on the inside you know how sometimes like hoodies are so soft on the outside and then like you put your arm and you're like why isn't it soft on the inside this is so soft the material is like light but like thick enough Oh my God, I'm in love. I'm already in love. I love this one. This is the comfiest thing ever. Okay, it doesn't really go with the pink, but I wasn't really trying to make it go with the pink. But Oh my gosh, I love, I feel like this is like a Juicy Couture set and I'm like living for it. This is like KB back in her day. I feel like a giant teddy bear, I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. This is so soft and it's got little pockets right here. But now what I'm most excited for is to pair it together. These look like heaven. They're literally so soft and so amazing. I will say they look very long. Like, look how long these look. And I'm tall. And the crotch definitely does look really long, so hopefully they fit good. I really, really hope these fit good because they're so soft. Okay, first things first, I just gotta say, the pants fit a little weird, but I think they're supposed to be like that. Cause this part, is like kind of like bunches out right here. But what I've learned, I think they're supposed to be like the slouchy look. 
I don't like it like too slouchy here because otherwise it just looks like like a I don't know what they call it, like a fupa or something. So what I like to do, what I'm gonna do, I've just learned, I went in the mirror. I roll it and I think it looks cuter rolled on me because then it's like slouchy enough but not too much. And I also think it depends on your body size because if you do carry weight like here, like more in the butt and more here, then it'll be like more like this look, which I think is what it's meant to be. But it's also so cute, like rolled one time. Oh my God. And it like hits the ground perfectly. I had to show you guys this. What? Okay. Look at this. This is so stinking cute. The color is just giving me like bougie vibes. Like I'm so excited to wear this to an airport. Like I feel like I'll just get my glasses on. I'll be like walking on the airport. Be like, don't talk to me. I know Kim. Don't talk to me. I know Kim. Just kidding. I don't know Kim. <laughs> I feel like Kim Kardashian in this outfit. I definitely don't look like her, but I feel like it. So that's important. This is cute. I like it. I need to go look in the mirror too. Okay, this outfit with instead of this like orchid bandeau, but a black one would be so elite. It would look so good. I like literally want to wear this to the airport so bad. I don't know why. It's just giving me like airport fit vibes, but like bougie ones and like really nice, like a tracksuit. And I love it. But I live in Arizona, so it's a little warm for this. So I'm probably gonna have to wait till it cools down. <laughs> but I cannot wait to wear this around. I think it's so cute. It just looks like bougie, and that's why I love it. It's like comfy. Bougie, I love it. Okay, so the pants were $72 and then the hoodie was $78. Altogether, it's a pretty expensive outfit, but it is very comfortable. And I definitely think that this is something you would wear all the time because it's super comfortable and it just looks really nice. And I feel like this is really, really good quality. So I think this is worth it. My only complaint would be maybe is like, if you didn't roll it, it looks like really weird here and like a little too slouchy and less flattering. So I'm gonna have to give the pants a nine, but the whole fit together it might be like a 9.5 because I think it's so cute and comfy so 9.5 for this one I can't even lie I literally don't want to take this off because it's so comfy I love it but okay we're ready for the next thing the next thing is a bodysuit it's a cami bodysuit I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name it's like O C H R E O T R E. okay I don't know however you spell that I got size small and it is $58 so it's a $58 bodysuit and I mean, it looks really nice. Is it worth $58? Looking at it, I'd say no, but we have to put it on and see. And hopefully, like, cause since I'm tall, some bodysuits really give me a bad wedgie. Like hopefully this is really comfy. It looks really nice, but we're gonna put it to the test. I gotta be honest, I really thought this wasn't gonna be worth the money at all. Cause I was like, how can you spend $58 on a bodysuit? And like looking at it, it just didn't look like it was gonna be anything special, but this, material is so soft and I can't even believe like how stretchy it is like it literally feels like I'm wearing nothing like and it honestly looks like I'm wearing nothing like it's like my skin color I really really like this I think it's super flattering super soft and super comfy and I'm tall and the fact that it just like stretches so nice I gotta give this one a 10 I am like so impressed with this I really really like this one I'm pretty sure I wanted to get the dark color like the dark brown but they were sold out but I might go back on for their sale and get more of these because this is just so comfy like the bodysuit that I was wearing in the intro was from um, Urban Outfitters and like it's okay but it's like really pulling on me so it's a long comfortable but this is so comfy I love it this one's definitely a 10 out of 10. I, I really, really like this one. I mean, I just feel like it's super flattering at the waist. Like it definitely like pulls in and it's so soft. I'm all about comfort, you guys. And that's why I was really excited to try Skims because I know like a lot of their stuff is all about like comfort, feeling good, feeling confident, and it works. So um, this one's a 10 out of 10. I just love how little the straps are and like they're not scratchy, they're not too tight. They don't like dig into you. It's just like very seamless. Okay, the last thing I got is the Fits Everybody Thong in Clay, and I actually got three of them. So I was actually really excited because I needed new underwear and I was like, I hope these are really good and seamless just because like, you know, like I'm one of those people where like, I feel like I have to wear underwear. Like I know that might be a little TMI, but like some, a lot of girls don't wear underwear with leggings. Like I have to wear underwear. It just feels like weird without it. Like I don't like the feeling. So. Let's hope these are really good. They say they're seamless, but I definitely feel a little seam. So I wonder if they're gonna be good. This is like literally insane how stretchy this is. This is gonna be comfy. I just know it. Obviously I'm not gonna be able to show you guys, but I'm gonna try these on real quick and you guys can hear my reaction to what I think. Wow, this literally feels like I'm not even wearing underwear. The only thing I don't love is it comes up a little high, but now I want to try leggings on and see if you can see any underwear lines. Okay, so I just tried on some biker shorts for 
from um, JD Fit, my company. And this is like the like a light pair, so you really should be able to see the underwear. But I feel like you can't see it too bad. I feel like it's pretty good. You can see a small seam here, but that's, it has like, this is where the underwear is. So it has like a little bit of a thicker band. And like, you can see it the tiniest bit, but it's really not noticeable unless you're like trying to like look for it. You can't really see the underwear at all besides like a couple seams. And I don't think that's that bad because it's pretty impossible to get 100% seamless, but these are probably the best underwear I've worn with this. So what I was saying, the only thing I would change about these is a little bit less thick, like when you put it on, like they're like this is thick, but I guess there's other styles too. But the comfort level is unreal. It literally feels like you're like not wearing underwear, but like it's like good enough to where you are. Cause I've bought underwear where it's like so thin that it's like, there's no point in wearing underwear, but this is like perfect. All right, you guys, so that is going to be a wrap on my Skims swim and Skims like shapewear. I guess I didn't really order shapewear, so I guess like loungewear haul and kind of like review. I hope you guys liked it. Overall, I think Skims is really nice. I really like the stuff. It fits pretty good on me. I definitely do think it is a little pricey, but I think sometimes you pay for the name of like a Kardashian company or also like good quality. Like, I mean, that's just like some brands are more expensive and like some aren't, I don't know. Like, I feel like like you could do, here's an example, like Lululemon. I bet you there's a ton of other brands that have really good quality that are a lot less inexpensive. Example, JD Fit. We have a lot, we have like the exact same quality on some of the products. Like it's like the quality, the material is literally so good, but people pay for the name. So sometimes I feel like you could be paying for the name, but I definitely do think it's worth the money. So I really liked it. Overall, I was very um, pleased with Skims and I think it's a really good company. So Kim, you're doing great things. Everyone on the team, you guys are doing great. I really liked it and I support. So if you guys want more videos like this, make sure you guys comment down below. I'm actually going to be filming a video, which I'm really excited about is testing YouTubers products. So like products that YouTubers sell. I thought it was a really cool idea because someone actually did it on me since I saw like JD fit. Her name's Hopescope. She did a video where she basically like tested other YouTubers products. And I thought that'd be a really fun one to do since I have a lot of YouTubers products and I went and bought some. So I'm very excited to film that video. And with all that being said, make sure you guys subscribe, click the like button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.